Good evening everyone, this is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in today's free video I wanted to take a look at two currencies that I've been using for assistance with other various markets. The first that we're going to touch on is the Yen. So I am looking at just the straight up Yen futures here and the important thing to remember on this is that I don't try to use these correlations to a tick by tick perfection. I mean that's not something that we're trying to do. It's, it's not something that really works that well. More so you're trying to step back and get the big picture to say when this moves in a certain way, what type of impact does it have and how can I use that to my advantage. The first one that I want to look at here is the Yen and let's go into studies, we're going to edit studies and let's add a comparison. This is an indicator that is built into most platforms and it'll give you a really nice view of what we're trying to compare here. So when we go into the comparison you'll notice that since I'm using the Yen futures this does trade the extended session so I wouldn't want to use SPX I would want to use the continuous futures S&P. So when we go ahead and apply this this chart will overlay against the two and this is what I'm trying to show in relationship to these bigger moves. I've cleaned this chart up a bit now so we could get a little bit clearer comparison of what's going on here and then of course also moving this back over into Yen Futures. But now you're getting a feel for what happens during these sharp periods of volatility. So whenever we see that the Yen has this very sharp move higher, that complements with a sharp move of the S&Ps lower. Then we kind of go through these consolidation phases, and this is the one to me that is the most curious, because now we've seen this big rally from the Yen, and now we're kind of waiting in the wings to see what this does to the S&Ps. So that's one thing worth keeping on your radar. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is come in and edit this, and apply this instead to the dollar futures. So actually let's do it this way. We're going to change the chart itself back to the dollar and then compare or use the comparison line to look at crude oil futures because this is another that people are always harping on and it's something that I think will give you a good outlook on it. Now as I've said it is not a perfect correlation. Today the dollar took a hit and crude oil went with it. But generally speaking what are we trying to see in these you know significantly sharp moves? is that when the dollar, like here, the dollar got hammered and that preceded a very nice rally in crude oil. So trying to keep these in the back of your mind is something that will help you with their entries, ideally help you finesse your exit, and it's just a w another way to add one more tool to your trading. So this is how I use it on a very basic level. If you'd like to get more information on this type of study, uh, Ragi is going to be doing a free webinar on Tuesday, May 3rd, 7 p.m. Central Time. It's going to be one hour long, and she is my go-to person for everything currency related. So what I've looked at from a very basic point of view, she will really dive in and look at in depth, give you more of her take on what she's seeing from the, J the Bank of Japan and why that makes us a currency trader, whether or not we want to be, and I think it'll be very much worth your time. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be tomorrow, Tuesday, from 7 to 8 Central Time. And I hope to see you there.